Okay. So a mundane response to the mundane announcement, and just to let you guys all know what's happening. So I think there was a little bit of a miscommunication with the, the previous one. By miscommunication, I mean I didn't explain properly about what was going on, because I like to play things close to the chest, but it doesn't help. We're leaving stuff uh, in a gray area, and people just assume the worst. So this is going to be an update to what has happened, what was happening in detail, and all of that. If you're not interested in this, then the short version is I probably won't be recording for another week due to reasons. These reasons will be covered further in the video. As you can hear, my voice is very different from the previous video, and that's a very simple reason, which I'll get to shortly as well. So let's set this up. Due to some life changes, I've had to uh, organize to get a bunch of uh, stuff that I've been putting off medically sorted to go and get that sorted out. So I decided to get it all sorted out at the same time. For those of you that have been with the channel since the beginning of last year will know that I had problems with my voice then. And some of the stuff that we're dealing with now is related to that, but not necessarily problems, but problems, kind of. But the first thing, on Wednesday last week, I went to the dentist to get a crown, or the preparation for a crown, and they used some chemical in the preparation, and it burnt the ever-living crap out of my tongue. So I couldn't speak properly because my tongue was swollen. Which, you know, was unexpected. So that was just a random coincidence not involving tests. Now, with the tests, there are three major problems that I have, or things, rather than problems. The first one is a new one, and that is cramps and pain in my legs when I wake up in the morning. It started a while back in one of my legs, and then went to two legs, and now it's my feet as well. So I went to my GP, and they ordered a whole battery of blood tests. Uh, some related to potential causes for the problem, but others were just general health checkup tests. Just to be sure, seeing as I was going there, giving blood anyway, might as well take an extra couple of vials and do the general tests that check health. Now this test required a 12-hour fasting, both uh, liquid and food. So I wasn't allowed to eat or drink anything for 12 hours before this test. And um, I recorded that video just after I woke up on the day that I was going to get the blood tests and before I got them. So my voice was shot because I hadn't had anything to drink and I'd just woken up. Which also, there was another fasting test coming up the next day, so that's why I put out the video saying, look, there were going to be tests, they were going to be messing with my voice, uh, but so I thought I'd let out the video and then just uh, reduce the stress of worrying about having to put out videos while this sort of stuff happens. And as with the case with most uh, life and doctor stuff, stuff gets mixed around, so I mean a 12-hour fasting test can turn into a 16-hour fasting test, which happened the next day. So... That brings me to number two problem, which is my GERT. Uh, GERT is acid reflux. I've had it for, since I can remember, since I was in my early 20s, so I don't know, about 20 years. Those with the channel about a year ago would remember me talking about it because it was affecting my voice, according to the voice doc. But I've never actually gone to a doctor specifically to look at the GERT, because maybe it is treatable in some manner. Maybe there are some specific medications I can take to improve my GERT. So I went to the gastroenterologist. On the same day, I did the blood tests for my GP. We had a discussion about uh, what tests we were going to need, and we decided on, we, he decided on, I didn't have much decision because I don't know. He decided on two tests. Um, one was on Friday last week, and the other one is on Wednesday or Thursday next week. Now, the one I did on Friday was another fasting test of liquid and food, and it was a barium swallow test which sounds just fun, and it's probably as fun as it sounds. That's where you basically drink liquid chalk, and they x-ray your throat and esophagus to see how the, the swallowing helps, and if there are any hernias in the esophagus and in the stomach causing problems. So that wrecked my voice as well. So that was Friday. All right, this is future me. Um, after recording this, I got the results back from the barium test, and I do in fact have a hernia. It's called a hiatus hernia, and it goes from my stomach up two-thirds of my esophagus. So I've only got one-third of my esophagus that doesn't have a hernia in it. What this means? Fuck to find out. Wait for the doctors to tell me. Anyways, back to past me. And the third problem, which I don't really talk about, but I did mention it last year when I was having all that voice problem, is we discovered that I have partial vocal cord paralysis, slash partial vocal cord incontinence, which I didn't think that could be used for anything other than the normal use, but apparently it can. 
basically my upper range does not exist. My vocal cords do not close properly when I speak in my upper range, and that causes problems. And this is all discovered last year, this time, exactly a year ago. In fact, I was talking about this. And uh, I've managed it pretty well, and it's okay for day-to-day -day stuff. But um, over the last couple months, I've been recording a full-length, proper audiobook. And that has brought to light the inconsistency in my voice from day-to-day, -day, which is fine on the channel, because you don't really notice it, and I can hide a lot of it with um, editing and music. But in an audiobook, uh, you can't do that. So what was happening is I recorded one day, and then I'd have to wait until my voice was back to that specific quality and record the next batch of stuff, which could happen the next day or it could happen a week later. So I'd, I had a day-to-day -day inconsistency problem, which has not really been a problem until the full-length audiobook. As of now, I've got an additional one from the same author and three other ones that are in talks about. So that might happen and may not happen. So the inconsistency I had recording the previous book is going to be affecting the next book, which actually affects planning around recording to a very big degree. Now, uh, last year, the doctor did talk about a surgery for my voice, which would help. Now, I'm using a bank about it last year, but I, I've managed to get a lot more details now. It is actually a pretty common surgery as far as vocal cords go. What they do is they inject filler into the vocal cords, which helps them close easier which should help me with my uh, consistency. Because the problem is to make a some of the higher pitched sounds, my normal voice has to do some weird stuff to make those sounds, which tires them out, which causes inconsistency. The other thing that causes inconsistency is the acid reflux. So that's why I was going to those two doctors. Also in the last month, I I've changed to a, a full GERT related diet, which is a high fiber diet basically. So that will also help with the consistency. And then hopefully the enterologist can do something for the GERT. So earlier today, went back to the voice doc. He did all the tests again. Good news, great news. There has been no deterioration in my voice whatsoever. The same problems were there a year ago are here today, but they aren't any worse. The bad side is not any better, but we didn't think that they were going to be better. What is better is the inflammation around my vocal cords caused by the acid reflux. So that means that I've been managing my acid reflux a lot better to cause less damage to my vocal cords. But, you know, if you can get the option to fix it completely, that's better than managing it. So we'll see what the enterologist said. Talking to the doctor today, what's going to happen with the operation is they're going to go in and they're going to insert a um, filler into the vocal cords. It is a... Uh, a fast acting filler so it wears out in about four months this is just to make sure that we are 100 percent happy with what the filler does for the voice that it does exactly what we want it to and if it does and in four months time i'm happy with the results i can get the permanent filler put into the vocal cords which will correct the problem permanently which is good um now the operation uh, I would love to say it's months and months away, but it's next week. Uh, he had an open spot, so I'm like, okay, sooner the better. We get in there, we get it sorted. The sooner we get it, we can sooner we know what's happening. So next week, Thursday, I am getting an operation on the vocal cords to correct the slash partial vocal cord paralysis slash incontinence, whatever the fuck they want to call the, the actual medical term. While they're at it, they're going to do the, uh, uh, the gastroscope because I'm going to be unconscious anyway, and it might as well do both at the same time. And the third thing, uh, which is such a problem that I actually didn't realize it was a problem because it's always there, is my sinuses are completely fucked. Not a little bit fucked, like totally, epically destroyed fucked. Um, and he was like, uh, the voice doc is an ENT trained ENT, so he does ears, nose, and throat, but he specializes in voice. He looked at the sinuses today while he was doing the scope, and he said to me what I just said to you, that, well, he was more polite about it. He, he says that they are very, very bad. Now, last year when I saw him, he gave me injections into the sinus cavity. This year, he looked at it, he said, look, I'm going to go in there anyway, so there's a, a quick op that we can do, and that'll make life a million times easier for you for years and years to come. So I said, yeah, great, we'll do that. And so I'm getting all three done at the same time. 
I'm not sure whether I'm going to be recording between now and then. And the other problem is my computer freaking blew up over the weekend, so I've been sorting that out. Uh, what's the other thing? Oh, and then tomorrow I've got my crown. Now, between tomorrow and next week, Thursday, I don't have any more tests or doctor visits. It's just the surgery. It is a super low risk surgery. It is pretty common surgery. It's nobody's really worried about anything. Um, and then we'll see what happens. It's going to be, uh, they say a maximum of two weeks recovery time from then, but they said most likely it will be a week and I'll be talking again. So yeah, I uh, hope that clears everything up. We're all on the same page. So uh, the TLDR is basically um, uh, all my bloods came back good. So there's nothing to worry about. My cholesterol is a bit high, but you know, I like food. Um, apparently I like bad food too, but I mean, who doesn't? But all the other tests, uh, uh, blood tests came back okay. The voice testers, no polyps, no tears, no nothing. The vocal cords themselves are 100%. It's just the, the two muscles, two of the four muscles controlling them are a bit squonky. They need to get a big, uh, you know, swift uh, slap to the side so that they can start working again. And we'll get that all sorted out on Thursday. If you have any questions, drop a comment down below. Um, in the meantime, if anybody see, see anybody asking about what's happening with content or with stuff or what is this series or anything, just point them here so that I can be up to speed with everybody. Uh, the wife says hi. She's busy waving. I, I don't know why the wave is supposed to pick up on the microphone, but there you go. She's waving at the microphone for you. Also, if I sound a little bit off today, it's because I've had a scope shoved through my nose and down my throat to check the vocal cords. Tends to not make the vocal cords too happy or the throat too happy. But we, we're, we're in a good spot health-wise. It's just correcting the problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now I'm starting to ramble a bit, but yeah. So there's the TLDR. If you see anybody asking, it, just politely point them here or, or just tell them that, uh, you know, that stuff's happening. Um, I'll see if whether I record or not. But for those of you that have made it to the end, other than the audiobooks, here is a spoiler. There is a new thing coming to this channel and it's going to be epic. And you know about it now. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I would like to hear what you think it is. But there's going to be something pretty awesome happening on the channel. And this will be after I've recovered from the surgery. So in a couple weeks time, you'll see what I'm talking about. So keep that in the back of your head. Anyways, enough rambling, enough me talking about me. Hope you all have a good one. And yeah, cheers.